I was so caught up in like K-pop in general, like the fame, the glamour, like having fans and like, you know, all of that, that I was just like, no, I just need to make it through. Obviously like the industry is like pretty toxic, like body image wise or like even seniority based. It's like very, it's very cutthroat. The company packages you in a certain way and you kind of like have to follow that image. My image was kind of like cute, like American, but like, you know, sometimes I want to get mad, you know, like sometimes I want to like, like not act like that. like got the call one day and they're like you know what we actually kind of like want you because you know you're like chinese american you can like speak two languages and then like you'll have korean in the bag first few months I was kind of like mm, like paying for lessons and then I think by the third month they were like we think she's okay in Korea it's like very clear like your levels and like based on the levels you have to like change your grammar you have to like add certain words to the end of sentences and like I would always forget because I just like wasn't used to it and like you had to bow down and these things were just like very shocking to me. After all these lessons were done with, um, we would go back to individual training and we'd usually train to like maybe like 2, 3 a.m. Body image is a huge thing in the K-pop industry. Um, I think it's really all about numbers. It's kind of like how much you weigh on the scale. Or like, we don't want muscles. We just want you to lose weight and like look skinny. For women, it's usually like the skinnier, the smaller the number, the better. We weight ourselves every two days in front of like teachers, the company. And so like, if you didn't get to that weight, it was really embarrassing. You'd kind of be like shouted at and like be like, oh my God, you're so fat. <laughs> they would say like, you can't debut if you're like this weight. Cause you know, like TV makes you look fatter. first day I think I was up for like maybe like 18 hours with like makeup on like full like costume just because we were like waiting there that like one episode took so long to film it's like it was like crazy and it was like cold they would be like you can't go to sleep you can't remove your makeup because you're on standby <laughs> Ten things and then we just put in one you have no freedom at that point or like no control over your own life you kind of just like listen to what the company says listen to what your elders say and you just like go as is i don't know maybe like growing up in america like it's just like we're all about like you know individuality but um yeah that part was kind of hard for me I was like so fed up at that point. I was just like, I just want to go back. I just wanted to like be normal, especially freshman year. It was like a big change in life. And I was missing out on that. Um, so I guess I had FOMO. <laughs> Pop stars, you know, they're like usually, there's like a short lifespan, you know what I mean? Like, kind of get like thrown out. Later on when it hit me, like, you know, when I was like writing college essays or like doing like these like interviews, I was like, oh my gosh, I did that. Like what? Like I did that. <laughs>